Talking to Coach Marty Simmons, basketball is here Monday night at Illinois. Before we talk about that uh, opening season game, let's review a little bit. You had a couple controlled scrimmages without going into any detail. Your impressions? What uh, What did you see in those two games? Yeah, I think we I think we took a lot from both. You know, just different styles of play. And uh, one of the games, you know, they switched five ways and really put pressure on us and uh, probably didn't handle it like we'd like, but uh, you know, you don't see that all the time and, and I think it was really good to go against that. You know, we saw some things, uh, just take care of the basketball, decision making, blocking out, things that uh, we were able to show our guys and, and uh, hopefully get better. And then uh, the second one, uh, uh, fast paced team, uh, so transition D was really, really important. Uh, solid at times with that, again, able to show some areas that we can can get better uh, really more of a dribble drive offensive team want to get to the paint uh, solid there as well I, I thought the area that we really did well defensively in that particular uh, scrimmage was we contested shots and uh, we you know they, they were a very good three-point shooting team had a lot of guys that could shoot it and uh, probably weren't going to keep them from taking them but I thought for the most part our guys did a good job of, of pressuring them and then uh, we got some long rebounds and, and were able to run out and get some baskets in transition. Uh, our guards played, played pretty well, shot it pretty well. Uh, just overall, you know, I, I think in we played everybody in both and, and uh, you know, that's the great thing about having that opportunity. You're playing against pretty good competition and, uh, you know, you get to see different styles of play and uh, you can go back and watch it and teach your guys both you know individually and as a team and I think that's a big part of the growth growth process. You talked about some of the things you like what's kind of keeping you awake at night that uh, that you're <laughs> most concerned about? Uh, rebounding is is one you know I mean just uh, the, the teams that you look at our schedule as we get ready to play here I mean they're athletic you know they got not only bigs that can, can play above the rim, but their guards and, and swing players do as well. Uh, transition D is always going to be a challenge. You know, I mean, that's, uh, you know, if you're able to, to get teams to run half court offense, you always feel like you got a chance. But with the way it's, you know, being played now, I mean, Illinois is as good as anybody I've seen. You know, they've got a lot of times five guys. Hawkins can bring the ball in transition. Uh, that and, and it, you know, being able to get back and, and you know trying to get them to run half court offense is, is is going to be a real challenge. Yeah. Before we started rolling the tape here, we talked about more depth this year, which I know last year was a, a real challenge. Do you feel like you've got a rotation of eight or nine guys? Do you want to go <laughs> ten deep, eight deep? Any answers there? Or I, I don't have a rotation. Uh, maybe my assistants do. They just haven't told me yet. <laughs> We'd like to play a lot of guys, David. Uh, you know, I, I, I traditionally have probably played about eight or nine, and and I'd like to play more than that. You know, we're fortunate that, uh, you know, inside, you know, we've got three or four guys that I think all can contribute in a positive way, you know, and then, uh, you know, from there, I mean, everybody everybody's played pretty pretty well, pretty hard. Uh, and I told you off camera, you know, I, we really love this team. They, they work and they try. You know, we've got to get you know our execution on both sides of the ball better, and and uh, you know you can always play just a little bit harder and tougher. You know the hustles, the 50-50 plays, uh, but these guys have been engaged from day one, uh, and and I think they've improved. And with, you know we got a tough start to the season, and we just have to keep our eye on the ball and uh, just continue to stay together and keep getting better. We talked about Illinois Monday night. You're jumping right into the frying pan right out of the first game. They have great expectations up the road. That's going to be a different style team. It's going to be interesting. Uh, hopefully, I'm sure you want to learn from that game. Well, I mean, you got to give, you know, Coach Underwood a lot of credit. I mean, they've won a couple Big Ten championships here. They've changed that culture. Uh, and they're different this year. You know, with Hawkins in there at the, the five, you know, he can 
run. He's an athlete. He can play out on the perimeter. He can shoot the three. He's a good passer, and and they're all great athletes. They got good size. One does at six seven can can really shoot it, play off the catch. Uh, Clark, just I mean his pace is is incredible. Uh, you know they push the ball extremely hard. Shannon six six long, athletic, can shoot it, drive it, get to the glass. Rogers uh, off the bench is like a carbon copy, uh, but he's right-handed. Uh, um, Meyer, the transfer from Baylor, you know, he's a lights-out three-point shooter, but he can put it on the dribble as well. So they play with enormous pace. Uh, they're well set up. Uh, they, they switch five ways. They'll pick you up. They'll press you full court. They may trap you, you know, right out of the gate. They may look to run and jump you right at the half. You know, they just – they. They bring a lot of different things, and, and, and then you just, the parts of their bodies, you know, they're long, they're athletic, uh, they play extremely hard. So uh, we're going to have to really be disciplined and, and, and be really sharp uh, to have a chance. Yeah. Of course, they don't know anything about us either with all, all of our new players, and they haven't had a chance to see anything because they didn't see those close scrimmages. I don't know how much of an advantage that is, but... Yeah, we'll take anything we can get, David. Uh, you know, it, it, I grew up in Illinois. I was fortunate to play up there in Assembly Hall. I think our guys are really going to enjoy that. I think it's good for our alumni. Uh, you know, it's it's an ESPN U game. I mean, we you know, as a coach, you know, you just want to play well. You know, you want to compete. You want to go out there and represent all the people I just talked about. Uh, and in and, and the right way, you know, it's just when you play somebody like this, you know, you, you have to be ready. Like you can't, you can't not be, or they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna pop you. I mean, they're just, they're that, they're that good. They're that aggressive. Uh, so our ability to, to, you know, execute the things that we have set up, you know, we're not going to be perfect, but not let one or two mistakes manufacture into five, six, seven, you know, having some poise, having the togetherness, uh, you know, not letting their atmosphere, we talked about that this morning, not letting that atmosphere, you know, keep our focus. You know, it's about the things that you practice, the things that you got set up. Uh, and if we'll do that, then then I think uh, we'll get a lot from it. Yeah. Coach is playing one game at a time. I understand that, but I'm remiss if I don't mention that we've got Illinois State two days later, Thursday night here, a home opener. Uh, want to certainly see our six clubbers come out and watch that game. And that, it's been, I was told this, and I didn't go back, and I'll be honest, I don't remember. 1981 was the last time Illinois State played here in Lance. So that's going to be a, a good competitive game that I think should be of great interest to people in the community. I agree. I, that's why we scheduled it, uh, to be honest. and and. Uh, I didn't look it up either, David, but I was told it had been some 40 years since we had Illinois State here. Illinois State's a class program. They got a new coach. You know, they play in the Missouri Valley. I'm sure they'll bring some fans. I, you know, we just felt like, uh, you know, it's a super opportunity. Again, you know, we're playing against quality competition, a uh, chance maybe to get some fans out because of who we're playing, and it gives us a chance to kind of showcase, you know, where we're at. Uh, you know, I've, I've said it all along, and, and I'll say it as long as I'm your coach, is we want to fill this place up. You know, we want to create an atmosphere in Lance that when people come, they not only enjoy the product, they, they, they have a good time. They feel good about it. They walk out of the gym, you know, it's almost like you go you, you go to a, a, a funny movie or a good, you know, you feel good about it. I, that's that's how we want. You know, we want our students to, to be engaged in, in our community. Uh, to be supportive, and because I know you know if that happens, it's going to make this place a tough place to to come in and, and beat us. I can tell you, you're fired up. I'm sure the players are ready to go Monday night at Illinois, Thursday night here against Illinois State. Go Panthers! Go Panthers!